Hey, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Turn down this air condition. I don't sound so roboty because I have uh, NTX voice going, so it's pretty good at taking out the background noise. But let's continue on the main story quest time. We're gonna get some durability drought. Use dur durability loss by thirty percent. Okay. Uh, we're going to get some XP. Lord of the World. Inzura stands ready to send you off to your encounter with the Lord, Lord of the World. Let's do it. Ah, I know that look. You are ready. Having been instructed in some haste, the war leader may not be pretty, but I assure you she's capable. She has been fitted with our friends at Malek and Villains are calling an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works, it would use the power of the corrupted crystals on board to rob Leviathan of his hold over water. Depending on how the battle unfolds, you may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. All right. It is expected that the Shenanigan and the Thralls will attempt to come to the Leviathan's deep. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Banquet and Yashanda, I will have you assist in the effort. If it is to fulfill its purpose, your diversionary force must not wait for numbers by your lead. I too would volunteer my blade. You would welcome it, having seen the fight in Stapsa. I dare say the fishbacks will find your presence highly diverting. Banquet and Nishanda, if you would, join the third levy and Lady Rogel, the fifth. Right, everybody's got their marching orders. Get up out of here. What's next? What is next? Uh, but what words have I for the man who has made a sport of slaying gods? Only these. Go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage a war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of life. I would echo the Admiral's sentiment and add a few words of my own. Know that we all have the utmost faith in you, man. May the crystal bless the keep and keep you. And the quest is accepted as you can hear the little music. The horn leather is now accessible. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Go ahead and switch to our ninja. Let's join it. And it starts out on hard. That's cool. Alright, so the Shannon then, Revived Beast Tribe native to the Indigo Deep, has succeeded in summoning their voracious god, the Primal Leviathan. Should the mighty serpent be allowed to unleash a tidal wave? The entire city of Numelosa will be swept into the sea. Faced with watery oblivion, the leaders of the Maelstrom have conceived a desperate plan, lashing together two warships and filling their holds with corrupt crystals. They hope to piece to lower the world's defenses and give chosen few the chance to dispatch their primal courage. And still, the whore leather sits in the bay with her towering vessel, the triumph awaiting. But the command to cast off. And then you can pause it and check out that other stuff. But we got to go in because time is running out. So let's get up in here. We got a full party. It doesn't look like two ships, it's like one ship. Oh, there it is.
That's not what I imagined when they said they broke two ships together. I imagine like two ships side by side broke together. Uh oh, there's that water. Gosh, how would you destroy a beast like that? Maybe this is just a tow ship. Okay, so that's just the tow ship they were talking about. Now I'm standing on the other ship. Two ships. This guy's a bad man of Jammo right here. This water beast about to spit fire. No, he's just screaming at me, okay. Um, so I have no clue what to do. There we go, let's put that in there. Let's sit on to the side of him. Oh, he's down in the water already. Uh oh. Take a look. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I see the two ships they got together with the thing on top. Got it. I'm gonna go fight this guy over here. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'll fight this Leviathan tail as well. We should take out his tail first. There we go. I've got a doom on me. How do I get rid of this doom? No clue. Oh, and look, in here, here's all the crystals. Got it. Okay. Alright. Uh, Claire's bummer. I don't know what that is. We're taking it out. Go. Go. Everything's done. Let's go for some more. Uh oh. What's going on here? Somebody activated shield. Alright, so we absorbed it, it looks like. Awesome. There's the guy. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm glad they had that rail there. I'd have been up in the water. Go. Put some lightning on that bad boy. Put some more lightning on that bad boy. There we are. Why's everybody sitting over there? I don't know. Get out of here, you little fish creature. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's happening? The 
need time to activate the crystals. Oh, it's not. He's throwing uh, water jets or cannons or something. Come on, let's get him. Mug him. Ooh, use that mug on him. Right at the last minute. That was a sturdy little boat they made. Alright. Over here, let's take a look. Awesome. Yeah, they did a good job with this boat. I don't know how they did it so fast, but they did it. They better keep one in stock for next time, too. So, report to Mayweb and common room and Lima Limosa. You know what? We are going to do that, but we're also going to check our little squad out. Speaking of squad, did we get a, uh... We did not get a card for that. That's too bad. Uh, timers, training complete. So, yeah, let's go do that. Half castle. Let's get up in here. Our guys are getting pretty good level. I think they're like 52 now. But we're going to keep training them. Who knows when we'll get the next serious mission. I don't know. Yeah, we got 52. Let me get some upgrades. Boom. Another training course on the way. Now, let's go. See what the Lady of the Deep has to say about our victory. With her very nice boat that she supplied. Yeah, I'm surprised it held up. Nothing broke off. The rail stayed on it. Amazing. Must be made out of mithril or something. Cool. Most oh, got him. All right, Storm Sergeant, let me up. Knowing the urgency of your business, I thought it best to refrain from making conversation during the past few visits, but today I will permit myself a few words. Ahem, I feel truly privileged to have had the honor of admitting a hero such as you. You're an inspiration to us all, sir. And on that note, the Admiral awaits you in the command room. Wait. Right. We Lominsons are sworn to strive till sea swallows all. And swallow all it would have had Leviathan prevailed. That we still strive now, we owe in no small part to you. Not for the first time, you have delivered Limsa Lominsa from the wrath of a primal. Never has our nation known a stouter ally. On behalf of my people, I give you my humblest thanks. Give me thanks. Give me something I can Tis use. Tis meet that I give thanks to old Mistbeard, too, for his fine solution. Whatever else he may have been, tis clear he was a resourceful soul. Would that I had a man like him in my service. <laughs> I guess that's him. Before I set foot in these lands, I had no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. This experience has served to remind me of the vastness of the world, and the boundless potential of man. Mm -hmm. 
Though I am but a refugee in this realm, I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate them. And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills will serve us well. Besides, your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thancred? Not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. Few are privy to this information, but Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat not unlike your own. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deftness. I am heartened to hear this. I too noted a kinship between your style and mine own, though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. <laughs> Aye, I suppose I did. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Though you may labor to believe it, Thancred was once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. You stole her! You jest, of course. But for a chance encounter with Alfino's grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa or received an education in Charlian or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the Blade, lest you wonder. Minfilia, please! <laughs> it would seem there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. Don't be crushing on her yet, you ain't even seen her face. Lady Yugiri, I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement, and that many domains have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's Toll. Mordona is many things, but a place of refuge it is not. Know that I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Alas, racked by instability as we are, our nation is in no fit state to take you in. Yet I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. We are in your debt, Admiral. I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment. But if it please you, I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. Nice. We might get to learn a new, a new skill. You wished a word in private. The better not to spoil the festive mood. History repeats itself, Admiral. As the kobolds did before them, the Sahagin resorted to summoning their god over a territorial feud. They acted in self-preservation. It may be that the Sahagin initiated this particular clash, but how it begins does not interest me so much as how it ends. I have not forgotten our conversation, Yashtola. I am aware that man bears part of the blame for the Primal's existence. Nor am I ignorant of the Sahagin's reason for acting. They sought to secure a place to breed and multiply that their kind might survive. Self-preservation, as you say. 
but we have as much right to live and thrive as they. If our own survival is threatened, are we to lay down our arms and welcome oblivion? Nay. And so you kill, that you might live. Yet if living is a right, then that right belongs to all peoples, be they men or beastmen. I'll not deny your reasoning, but when a storm gathers, it falls to me to see my people safely through it. That is my duty, and I shall do it. As must we all, Admiral. Stay the course then, but know that it will lead to no good end. Man has ever put himself first and foremost. To justify his actions, he clads himself in the armor of righteousness, though it be a fancy of his own making. In this, mayhap the Galians and we Domans are not so different. Eorzea has become as a raging sea. If we are to keep our heads above the waves, we cannot scruple to drown the man next to us. When hopes of coexistence founder, strength must determine who has the greater right to live. Lord of the World is complete. So, to fight for survival. I mean, what can you do? fight for survival but that's going to be it for today thanks for joining me my name's tick and we'll be back tomorrow for the next main story quest stop you know what no nope, no nope. scratch that we're going back we're going to do a few male leather carrier quests so join us tomorrow when we do something